Hi everyone. Welcome to Wednesday Facebook Live. We will get started in just a second. Um, okay. Hi, Barb. Thanks for joining me tonight. Hi, Karen. Hello, Jenny. Um, I hope you guys are having or you had a happy St. Patrick's Day. And that you, uh, did you wear your green today? Hi, hi, Patricia. Hi, Carla. Um, I just put a green shirt on. I didn't think I had any. I was searching my whole closet and I finally found this one that is super old. And um, anyway, it's the, literally the only green shirt I own. And then I put on some little gold earrings <laughs> and even some little gold eyeshadow. So that's my uh, dressing up for St. Patrick's Day, about as good as it gets. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. I love seeing your comments, everyone saying hi. Hello, everyone. Um, thanks for joining. Hi, Holly. I'm going to share this over in my group really quick. I have a bunch of projects for you. They're super easy, super cute, and um, yes, you're going to like them, I think. And a card, all Easter themed. Oh, Maria, you're, you are still at work. Goodness. It's a long day for you. Very long day. Um, okay. So I'm just chatting with you guys for just a moment before we get started so everyone can find us. And post. Okay. So because it's St. Patrick's Day, I think I need to give away a prize. But I didn't grab one. So I'm going to give away... Um, oh, my box of embellishments is right across the room. Let me see if I can go grab them really quick. to give away so be sure to comment let me know you're here and share because I just grabbed two brand new embellishments to give away tonight a package of holiday rhinestones which remind me of a rainbow which are perfect for St. Patrick's Day and these playing with resin dots um, that are just some of my favorite so I will give these away um, to somebody so be sure to, to uh, let me know you're here and thank you so much for commenting um, so appreciate that so we have some prizes to give away today tonight all right um, lots of stuff went out in the in the mail so if you signed up for bingo it's on its way it's not this Friday it's next Friday so it should arrive in plenty of time um, so if you're doing Stampin' Bingo, if you ordered during my virtual card class, which was a week ago from Monday, all of the make and take packets went out today as well. So um, that's super fun. I had uh, three huge boxes to drop off at my post office uh, this afternoon. So yeah. And then right before we get started, the last thing I want to share with with you um, with you all is I do have one class open right now and it is called the touch of ink class so do you remember this stamp set this stamp set you could get free um, but you had to place a hundred dollar order to get it um, how I run my business I do a lot of online events and classes um, 
I have some of the, I have a bunch of these left over. So I created a class with five beautiful cards. It includes $30 worth of product and you get this stamp set for free. I am not allowed to sell the stamp set. So the stamp set is free. Um, the class is $45 and that includes um, the shipping to you. So the class is really only like 30 some um, dollars and you get the stamp set and $30 worth of products um, to make five cards and you have lots of leftover uh, ribbons and dots and a wink of Stella, all the fun stuff. So it's only, I only have so many. So, but this is um, an awesome class that you can um, go to my website over there, owlstarstampers.com, click on your classes, and it's called A Touch of Ink. And so five beautiful cards there. This is an incredible deal. Like um, you get the stamp set plus all that stuff. I just can't stress enough how awesome of a deal it is. So take advantage of it. Um, and then today is free shipping. Stampin' Up! rarely ever does free shipping. I can't even think of the last time. I think it's been over a year. So if you place a minimum of a $50 order today, you still have until, um, you know, midnight. Um, to thank you, I put together an awesome gold package. So there is some gold foil. And then this is our retired gold glimmer paper. I have some of that left. You're also going to get um, two yards of gold ribbon. I'm ac I actually um, am giving you the gold metallic edge um, vanilla ribbon. I just don't have any. So I put some gold ribbon in here and some gold hoops and candy. So this is like a $7 to $8 value um, that you're going to get is a thank you from me for placing your order today for St. Patrick's Day. Um, so, yes, Yvonne, I saw your order come through. Thank you so much. A lot of you have ordered, so you'll be getting this um, gold little thank you package from me in the mail. You do need to use a host code, though, so I know that it's connected to this. There's my host code. If you have any problems, um, I will be up after this live and I can help you. So just um, email me, message me, and um, all that stuff. Okay, so that's the fun stuff. Um, I have the embellishments to give away, so comment and share, and um, we'll give these away. And let's get started stamping tonight for St. Patrick's Day, but we're gonna be doing Easter because St. Patrick's Day is almost over. So let's do some Easter projects. So I'm gonna turn you down to get started. Okay, I'm gonna try, let's try. All right, so again, here's my little package, gold fun package. I love sending you guys packages of stuff. The first thing we're gonna do is a cute little Easter basket. And I made this um, years ago. And so some of you might remember this, and you can do these in any size, but we're gonna do one with a six by six um, sheet of Purple Posy. So this is one of our ink colors that is retiring. Um, we have this Rococo Rose, Pretty Peacock, Terracotta Tile. Um, so if you have the ink pads in these colors, grab your reinkers so you don't miss out. Or if you want the Stampin' Blends, if you want... Some of these items are already on back order, but they're not sold out. So if you want the ink colors that are retiring, grab them now while you can. Um, they're some of my favorite colors that we've had, and Purple Posy is a favorite. It's just such a light, light lavender. Um, so anyway, we're using that tonight, and I'm scoring this at two inches on all of the sides. So this is, again, six by six. You could make this eight by eight, 10 by 10, 12 by 12. You could, yeah, any size you want. You could make this fun little basket. So I just scored it at two inches all the way around. Then you're going to um, take your uh, bone folder and you're going to crease these lines. Okay, hi Brenda. And don't, don't forget to um, like this page if you haven't already um, or my YouTube channel. If you haven't gone over to my YouTube yet, um, if you subscribe, that would be awesome as well. Okay, so you can kind of see it looks kind of like a little tic-tac-toe board. Um, grab your paper snips, and we are going to um, snip this up. Now, these would be a really cute 
little basket. You could do any time of the year. You could do these for Mother's Day. You could do this for teachers or your coworkers or nurses. Um, um, you could also, you could have made this for like a little uh, St. Patrick's Day if you did it in black. Um, put some little gold candy, those little gold chocolate in here. Anyway, you can do this basket for a lot of occasions, not just Easter. So this is what it looks like. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take um, these sides up just like this to create the basket. Like how easy is that? So this is what it looks like. So we cut these and then these across. And now we're going to add some adhesive, which I have right here. I'm just using my Stampin' Seal Plus. And so you could um, have the sides of the basket like this if you want it a little bit bigger like like that or you can pull it up and like make it a little bit more like smaller so you can adjust the size of this as well so that's kind of neat so I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here and this is awesome because and I'm going to make my end my little the points neat just like that and then I'm going to do the other side gotta get it going so yes, thank you so much to all of you who have ordered today. Um, it's a, shipping is a 10% savings. like So that's like 10% off your entire order. So that's pretty awesome. So there we have our cute little basket. And then I just took a strip of one inch by eight and a half. And then this is going to be our little handle. So for you can staple this if you want. You can use adhesive. I would use definitely um, the Stampin' Seal Plus or Tear and Tape, if um, especially if you're going to give this to a child. <laughs> and then um, right in there, there's kind of like a a little where the piece goes. I'm just going to attach this and pull it over. And if you don't want your handle that big, you can you know, adjust it to however big you want. And there's our little basket, but now we got to decorate it. So what we're going to do is I grabbed my daisy punch. This is our, the big daisy punch. Um, so we have the medium one that's a little bit smaller. So we're going to take and we're going to punch out four daisies. And so that's not going to be enough white. So luckily I have some more here. So this is an awesome punch. It's in our annual catalog if you need it, if you don't have it. So four of these daisies. And then we're going to take, I need some So Saffron, which is a light yellow and we are going to do a three quarter inch circle punch to punch out um, the center. Now we don't sell three quarter inch circle punch. When this retired, I warned all of you that you needed it. So hopefully you got it. Or you can use um, the dies, the circle dies, or hopefully you have something equivalent to this. But I'm using a three quarter inch circle punch. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our bone folder and curl these over just like that. We're gonna do that to two of them. And then we're going to pull in our dimensionals and we're gonna put one dimensional in the center on each of these. And then the curled ones, we're going to put on the center but offset them like that. This one is stuck to my hand. <laughs> okay, do the same thing to this one. And then the little flower centers, put one on there. So you're gonna use a you're gonna use your dimensionals today, just like that. How pretty is that flower? It's I'm so ready for spring. So ready. Now that we got over the daylight savings. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on our basket. And so of course I'm gonna use another dimensional. So I'm gonna put the dimensional on the back here and put one here. And then I'm going to flip it over and put the other flower on the back. So I just literally thought 
This is very random and has nothing to do with the Easter basket, but I um, was asked to donate a prize or like something for the high school for the seniors and I told them I would have it ready today and I forgot to contact the lady so I need to do that tomorrow. Um, anyway, random. So what my, what do, does your brain, does things randomly pop in your brain that have nothing to do with anything? Anyway, here is our cute little Easter basket. If you wanted, you could take some ribbon and you could tie a bow and add a, you know, add a bow on there. But then you can take some of that little Easter grass and put it in. And then, of course, I have like coordinating candy, like this purple Laffy Taffy. I don't have Easter grass. And you, or you could make it with paper, but then you just put in your little candy and you have a cute little gift. So cute, so easy, and um, just really pretty. And you could do these in any color. If purple isn't your color, do it in pink or yellow or green or whatever. And you could even put, I was going to originally put like this cute little bunny on it from the Springtime Joy. You could just like stamp that on a little circle and pop that on there. So lots of different options, but there is your first project for tonight. Cute little Easter basket. Let me know what you think of this project um, or if you've made it before and um, maybe you'll want to whip somewhere out. And I like that there's a flower on both sides. So that'd be cute on somebody's like desk too. Okay, our next project is I'm going to show you how to make a little, like, I think it's called a diaper pouch thing. I'm not really sure. But this is our Playing With Patterns um, designer series paper. And again, this is retiring because it has some of that purple posy. I thought it was very spring light. And so this comes in a six by six. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it up um, like this, just like this. And then you're going to grab your bone folder and go across just like that. And then you're just going to take this and go across. But then I want to make sure mine lines up. So before I press that down, I'm going to do the opposite side and make sure like the points line up. Do you see what I'm doing? It kind of looks like that. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to crease. You don't have to measure with this. And guess what? You don't have to use any glue on the actual thing. So there is this. And then to get it to stay down, you're just going to take this top piece and fold it under. And now you have a cute little pouch. You could probably fit like a gift card in here. You could put little fun size candies. So here's little like a fun size candy. It doesn't coordinate. I just had this in my thing. You could take like maybe a little cello bag and put some of those like, like a coordinating candy and then take um, a ribbon right here. Take this little ribbon and make a bow. And then obviously we're, we're, well in just a minute, we're going to decorate the front. So thank you for sharing, Kay. I'll get you in on the drawing um, for some embellishments that I'm giving away tonight. So here's a cute little bow. This uh, ribbon is called the purple, it's like the tri-color ribbon. Really pretty, great for spring has like the three shades of purple in it. So you could put like just a few little candies in there like this, and then this could like tuck in there as well. But let's make um, a little cute little um, image for it. So I'm using this stamp set, which this is what we're using for our bingo. And I'm gonna use this, um, what are we gonna use? That one's too big. So yeah, let's use the bunny. And I have some memento ink. I have a really pretty card to share with you and we're gonna use these gold hoops. So stick with me because I'm gonna show you how to use these hoops on a card. Um, we're gonna do the card last though. So I have a really pretty card to share with you. Okay, so ink up the bunny and we're going to stamp this on here. And then we're going to, um, 
take our markers. So now is a great time to stock up on any, if you need cardstock, if you need your reinkers, like I already mentioned, if you need um, adhesives, or if you've been really wanting something, now might be a great time to get it with that free shipping. Okay, I'm gonna take our light smoky slate and kinda um, go around this bunny. And then I'm just gonna color in the flowers up there. And that's it, I'm not gonna do a lot for this little bunny. Um, these images are just so fun for spring though. So there we have that. Then I'm going to grab my Purple Posy, which again, Purple Posy is retiring. So um, I think these are on back order, but you can still order them. So get them while you can. Okay, so color in the flowers up there to coordinate. And then we have the little leaf. And so I'm going to do... Um, the mint macaron, which is a lighter green, just to color that in. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it um, on with a few of these dimensionals. Just another little quick gift you can give. So there we have that and then um, you could stamp if you wanted the like welcome spring and you could like put that across the bunny too if you wanted. But there's just a cute little pouch that you could put together really um, easily as well. Or you could buy some coordinating little fun size candies. Um, but yeah, you can just use your, this is a two and a quarter inch circle punch. You could use a two inch punch, a one and three quarter, whatever you have, and just like decorate the front of these. So there's another little idea. Let me know what you think of that. Can you see the bunny up close, how it's colored in? It matches. It looks really good in person with the purples and then the purple candy. Okay, I have one more little treat thing to show you, and then we'll make our card. So the next thing we're going to make is I had a piece of um, this paper. This is our hydrangea, um, the hydrangea paper that is, um, it comes in 12 by 12, but I cut this down to six by six and we're going to score one side at a half an inch. So these are some of my go-to little treat holders that I make. So I make them all at Christmas time. So if you've been following me for a while, you're probably like, um, we've already seen this, but it's all new products, right? So it's kind of like something new. Now, again, if you like the purple, go with the purple. I'm gonna switch it up and use the pink. Uh, this is, I believe, it coordinates with our Rococo Rose, which is, the paper is already sold out, but I think they might get more back. But um, again, those in colors, so I just scored a half inch strip and then I added glue all the way down the side and now we're going to fold this over and line up the edges and then we can kind of press it down like that. You see what we did there? Then you can take, this is literally, this is my sample Hershey bar. This candy bar expired. It says Best Buy November 2018. So nobody's gonna be eating this. Don't worry about me eating this. <laughs> You're gonna slide your full-size candy bar in there. This is the one I use for all my sample projects. Then we're going to take our really pretty white polka dot tool ribbon. This is one of my favorite ribbons, you guys know. We're gonna wrap this around and we're going to tie a bow and decorate this. So here we go. Um, just like that. Did you guys? Do you guys? Um, do any of you, or probably a lot of you, um, have like any traditions for like your dinner for St. Patrick's Day? Um, I know a lot of people eat corn, beef, and cabbage, and different potatoes or shepherd's pie, like different things like that. Um, 
Our kids had Lucky Charms for breakfast. They, Since they've been little, we always have Lucky Charms for breakfast. So here we are so far. The next thing I have is, where did my little piece go here? I have an oval, stitched oval, and um, I have um, some butterflies that I die cut with the new butterfly die, the Butterfly Brilliant. So there's the stamp set and the die. You guys, I'm so sorry. That beautiful paper I showed you that's included in my card club, it sold out today. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. It was so pretty. So we're going to do some stuff with these butterflies. I need the Rococo Rose ink. So I'm going to grab that right behind me. Um, here it is. And we're going to stamp this that says, Easter is a lovely reminder of new beginnings. And then we're going to put, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try something because obviously I didn't have time to do it before. Lucky Charms is a tradition at Paula's house. Um, yes. Or no, sweet tradition. Yes, yes. That's what we do, Paula. Yep. Lucky Charms for breakfast every year. And I usually partake in the Lucky Charms, but I didn't this year. <laughs> um I had my oatmeal, which I've had every day for the last eight weeks. Okay, we're inking this up. We're going to stamp this over here. Just like that. And now we are going to, um, gosh, I wish I had water in my water painters. Let me see if I do. Because I, nope, it's empty. Hmm. All right, well, we're going to do something. Is this empty too? Everything is empty. All my tools with water. Hmm. Okay, well, we're just going to go to the next plan, which is I need a scrap piece of paper right here. Somewhere I have a scrap piece of paper. And we are going to take these butterflies and we are going to um, put a little speckle on them. So I'm going to use the coordinating blends. Again, this is the in color that's going out, Rococo Rose. So we're going to splatter some pink on the background. So these are leftover from that frame I made. Did you see the frame? I'll show you if you missed that. So we're gonna just see how I just like gently pull it through the cap and it adds a little color. That's the dark. Now we're gonna add a little bit of the light to give it lots of dimension. I was gonna watercolor these, but there's no little, that might be too much. So maybe I'll turn that one over. Okay, so we have some little speckles on here. We can also take our Wink of Stella and add some sparkles also. You can just like add lots of little sparkles. Okay, now we're going to layer this together, a little butterfly. I'm gonna put this one on top of this one. And then this one on here. So thank you so much, Lori. I'm glad you like the projects. They are just very easy. I wanted to give you um, easy projects that you can recreate for really any occasion, but we're gonna stick with spring. I'm gonna put a few of these here and hopefully use up some supplies you have or now is a great time to get more. So we're gonna put that here and then take this little butterfly and we will stick that there and then it needs some pearls. So you can use white pearls, pink pearls, rhinestones, whatever you have. I'm going to add a couple of these down the center of our butterfly. I'm going to add three. Just like that. So here is our little candy bar. Let me know what you think. So you can see like the, 
pink on the speckles in the background. And then this one has a wink of Stella, but a little bit of showing through from the back because I flipped it over. And there's just a really pretty, another little Easter treat that you could do, or spring. You could make it for spring also. So there's that one. And finally, we're going to make our card. And then if you just joined, I will show you all the projects at the end. So let's grab, uh, we're gonna make a card now. So we need, I need to clean off. Nope, I don't need to clean that off. Okay, we're going to use for this Easter card, I got tools all over. Um, we're going to be using Blushing Bride uh, blushing bride cardstock. So this is our light pink. And we're going to cut it in half. This is just our regular size, eight and a half by um, 11. So cut that in half. Um, that's how you cut a card base. So now you have two bases. And then I'm going to turn this to four and a quarter. And I'm going to use my scoring tool up here. So this up here scores it. So just score it. And now we have the base of our card. So I'm going to make this and then I went ahead. So if you place that order for at least $50, which a lot of you have, I have, um, you know, uh, this awesome package. It has gold foil, gold glimmer paper, gold hoops, gold ribbon, gold candy. Um, you're going to get this from me like a seven to eight dollar value and so I want to show you how to use these gold hoops if you haven't used them yet because they're really cool so what you're gonna do is you need a gold hoop which we have right here you're gonna need mini glue dots and um, mini glue dots and then I have a two and a quarter inch circle in basic white and then I have um, a piece of basic white that I emboss with our wood, the wood background. It's five and a quarter by four. So this is gonna layer onto the pink right here with our adhesive. And then I'm going to just put glue all the way around this. And we're going to center this down just like that. So. Oh, Karen said, I've had these forever. Thanks for showing me how to use them. No problem. I'm glad. Yeah, they're they're super cool. Okay, so on our circle, I'm going to use, um, again, I'm using the Springtime Joy. This stamp set is only, I believe it's $20 or $21. It's in our, the spring like catalog, the little one. So cute. And we're going to be using this image right here, the sentiment, I mean, that says, May the new life of spring bring you joy. And so that's what we're using, and we're going to stamp that right on that circle with Blushing Bride ink. Our ink. So I have um, my stamp, and then we're going to open this up and ink it up. If you have, if you're stamping, here's a little tip, and you get ink all the way around your acrylic block, you're pressing too hard in your ink pad. You just have to tap, tap, tap. <laughs> you don't have to smash. So we're going to stamp or stamp and then set this right in the center. Just like that. And then we're done with our, we're done with that. So now we're going to add this to our card. I'm just gonna kind of center it. Put it right here. And then we're going to take this gold hoop. And so it might be hard for you to see, but the hoop has a flat edge. It's pretty thin, but it is, it is flat. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your mini glue dots. And I love this. Um, you guys know I, I use this tool all the time. It's 10 bucks. It's a great $10, great investment. Get it today for free shipping if you don't have it. And do you see how I just like twirled that around and made the little glue dot even skinnier yet. And then I'm going to take that and just stick it right on the edge of this hoop. And these mini glue dots are so sticky. You can probably see it's like right, right there is the glue dot. Now we're gonna do another one. 
So the same thing, I just kind of pick it up with the tip of this little pokey tool and I roll, roll my pokey tool to get it really skinny. And now I'm gonna go across to, like directly across to the other one and stick it on here. So these two glue dots are going to hold this metal um, thing down because it's not very heavy. It's not bulky at all. It's just really, it's really pretty. So I'm going to put my glue dots away for a second. And then this just goes right over that circle. I'm going to press it down and look at that. It's not, it's not coming off. Like it's stuck down. It's really good. But we're going to use that as like our wreath. So the next thing I went ahead and I grabbed are my Forever Flourishing dies. This coordinates with the fern, um, the little fern thing. And I cut out a little, a few of the fern little greeneries in soft sea foam. I used this one because it kind of has that curve to it. So I cut out a few of those. Um, th this is in our annual catalog. And again, this one coordinates with that Forever Fern or Forever Greenery or some that sweet anyway. And I'm going to take this and we're going to like stick this down here. So let's add um, this down here. And I'm just adding a few glue dots to the behind these leaves. Oh my gosh, these glue dots are like so sticky. Um, so I just have one on each end glue dots and we're going to pop this down just like that then I have my small or my whatever this little blooms punch and that other piece of blushing bride we're going to punch out a few flowers so I have three little flowers here and I'm going to put these on over here. I'm gonna kind of like tuck them in. And I wonder if I, I might, I was trying to decide if I should, I should have done two of those, one going up and one going down, but whatever. We're going to just stick these little flowers down with a little glue dot over here. We'll do one here. We'll do one over here. And then maybe one kind of on top with a dimensional. And then You could use a smaller flower. I wish I had, I should have grabbed a smaller flower. I'm going to use the same pearls, again, um, the pink ones. Uh, the white ones would actually look really pretty. I just don't see them in front of me right now. Uh, so just like the regular basic pearls. I'm going to add these to the center of our flowers. Just Okay, this one needs to get moved just a little bit. Or maybe not. Maybe it's stuck forever because I can't get it to move. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about getting, oh my gosh, um, getting that off. I like it almost better with just two. I know they say three is like more appealing to the eye, but... I like it better with just the two. I want like a tiny little flower to go like right there. And I'm trying to look over at my punches to see if I have that little border punch. Oh. Okay, I got one. I'm using something else that isn't available, but I'm taking my little strawberry punch. There's a little flower right there, and I'm going to punch that out. 
maybe. That was loud. This is going to go there. There we go. See, now I got it. This is a little bit smaller. Then put that one there and put a little pearl on it. There we go. And so um, you could add more little pearls on here if you want. You could add a few more little pearls. Um, or you could leave them off. You could add more little greenery. I think I like that and I would like one coming down here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add two of those, which I'm not going to waste any more of your time, but I am going to um, die cut one more of these and then I'll post a picture. But um, I'm just going to add this little thing here. Oh, maybe I should cut it and then I don't have to die cut it. So there we go. I'm going to cut it in half because half of it's hidden anyway. And I'm going to tuck it in under here like that. And then I'm going to take this one and put my little glue dot and then do um, over, put this one up here. So there, see, I made it work. There we go. So there is our little Easter card or spring card. It's a spring card. Um, if you wanted, you could, you know, add a little bunny, but that's how you use the, those gold hoops. They're super easy and fun to use. So here is our card that we made tonight. Um, let me know what you think of that. If you've used these gold hoops or um, uh, whatnot, but Oh, somebody said the hydrangea dye. That would have, yeah, that had some flowers in it. That would have been perfect. So there is our um, card. If you just hopped on, we made a candy bar wrapper using the butterfly dies. And again, we just use a Springtime Joy stamp set. And then I showed you how to make a fun little, like the little diaper pouches. Um, you could put little candies. This one we actually decorated with that little bunny. It has some little candies in a solo bag. You could get fun size candy or those Ghirardelli chocolates for Easter. They fit in there as well. And then our first project that we made is the little basket with the daisy filled with some candy. And so we had those. So we made quite a bit tonight. So I hope you enjoyed all the projects. Um, before, let me know what your favorite is. And again, yes, they're so easy, so simple. Anyone could make these. Um, and that's what I love to, so you can reproduce and make lots of really cool projects easily. So there's that. If you would like to um, get in on the free shipping, there's the host code that you need to use. I can link my online store as well. And if as long as you place at least $50, you will get free shipping. And then I will send you my little gold package. Um, don't forget about, if you would like to sign up, the Touch of Ink class is only $45. That includes the shipping for the cards, all the products. There's that going on. And yeah, I think that's it. I, I'm wondering if I'm forgetting anything else. Um, the card is my favorite. I love your project. The card is my favorite. Everyone likes the card so far. So uh, Kendra likes the daisy basket. Um, oh no, I see a few angry faces. Hopefully those were just an accident that somebody accidentally hit that. Um, I hope I didn't make you mad tonight. Um, so yeah, that's what we have. If you need a really cute Easter set, this is a great one. Spring one, cute. If you like cute little animals, this is a great one that you could add. Oh, the basket. Um, so yeah, that's what I have. Thank you for joining me tonight. I will have these posted on my blog later tonight or, or you can watch tomorrow. Um, thank you for joining me. And I will um, look at your comments. Don't forget to share. I have the embellishments to give away. The holiday rhinestones and the resin dots. So I will give those away in the next day or two. I will go through all the comments and um, do a random 
number generator. So yeah, thank you so much. I'm glad you love the basket. Fran said the basket is genius. It's so easy too because you can make this with any uh, square and just score it at two inches um, or three inches um, to make it bigger if you want a bigger one. So that's really fun. So, okay. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your St. Patrick's Day. Have a great night and I will see you next week. Bye everyone. Thanks for joining and thank you so much for those of you who have ordered. I truly appreciate it. Have a great night.